the Pet Gear Jogger versus the Petite Jogger, two all-terrain joggers, which I will use for walking. The Petite has the smoothest ride. I have a lot of very rough walking trails and paths, boardwalks and cobblestone around my place. I love how smooth it is, but the brakes don't work. I was near tears when I discovered this because the brakes are so critically important for us and they are so flimsy. Look at those amazing um, reflective lights on the large wheels and the stunning design. And yet the brakes are flimsy like paper clips. They snap back as soon as they are pushed down. On the other hand, Pet Gear's brakes are strong and reliable. Yoshi uses the stroller as a house uh, sanctuary. He loves jumping in and out of it at all times. He joins us on the patio, especially if a neighbor comes over. He loves kind of retreating into the stroller, but also being part of things. Patik has a better style and design, that's for sure. Look at this. It's so sleek and the color is gorgeous. Especially the amazing front window. I love Yoshi rolling down the street like he's in a little Jetson space shuttle. The pet gear has no front window. That's the big problem. That's the big problem um, that I wanted to address with the Patik. Kiku needs to see the world. She is an extrovert and she really can't stand being down in the depths of the pet gear carriage. The dog has to see the world through this thick black mesh, but Yoshi doesn't mind it at all because he's a frightened little Shih Tzu who had a pretty traumatic upbringing. He's scared of dogs at dog attacks. Um, he likes his privacy. He doesn't want his little sister Kiku harassing him all the time. It provides him a measure of protection. Pet Gear's front is tough to open and close. You really have to push hard. Um, you have to, it's just inconvenient when you're on the go. Patik's back door is easy and convenient. Look at that. I love that the front and back are fabric. One zipper all the way around. Pet gears, on the other hand, heavy, heavy, difficult to open. Um, Patek, Patik uses zippers while pet gear is zipperless. That's the big difference between them. With the Patik, if a zipper breaks, it's over. That's the thing. Zippers are such finicky things, and it's a lot riding on the zipper never breaking. But the light, airy design is really worth it. Pet Gear's zipperless back takes up a lot of space. That door, unlike fabric, just swings open and it, and it doubles the space you're taking up. And the zipperless front makes no sense. You can't have it open while you're on the move, only when you're stationary. And it, it's quite an effort to open and close it. Petit's front is very low. It dips down quite a bit, so you really have to strap them in. If you're in a crowded area, you have to really watch out that dogs don't jump in or they don't jump out. Pet gear is the opposite. Nothing is open except the top, and Kiku is utilizing that. Yoshi likes the den-like atmosphere. This is what has... Uh, really brought him into the outside world. Thankful for that, but as you can see, Kiku, she's been an extrovert from day one, and uh, she's on her tippy toes. She doesn't want to stay inside, it's too dark. She wants to see everything out there. She wants to see and be seen. The Petit has air-filled tires, and the back tires are super large. I'm a little bit afraid of rolling over something sharp and popping the tire. They're not replaceable, but the tires make the ride so smooth and effortless. The jogger moves in a very fluid way, and I don't have a lot of really paved walking trails around me. See how it glides over these uneven boards? Normally in the pet gear, it's kind of clunk, 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 clunk. But we really feel like we're just sailing over the boards in these uh, in the uh, petite. See, it's a bit bumpier. The two tires in the front, I thought that they were a benefit, but they might add to the bumpiness. The one tire um, hits less traction as it rolls. That's my unprofessional observation. I love the pet gear cup holder. 
It's one of those little things that make a big difference. See the unused space between the bars of the patique? Patique, put a cup holder in. It's so convenient. It's You can have your phone, you can have your poopy bags, you can have your dog treats, you can have their stuff, their harney, their leash, all packed in there and you don't have to remember to take your purse every day. I cut the plastic off Patik's roof. Um, I just didn't like it. I didn't understand it. I wanted to make it more like Pet Gear's roof where I can gaze at my little Yoshi as we roll. And he loves looking up for security as we're going. Both have a very thin floor. Since the whole purpose and of so much of their design is shock absorption, I wonder why they both had such a thin um, layer between the dog and the ground. So I added a bed for my prince and the pea. I got a foam crate bed and I just cut it to size to absorb shock for my prince and my little sweet pea. I also added a front barrier. I bought some double-sided Velcro tape and I Velcroed it in so I can pop it in and out. Yoshi feels safer. A big dog can't jump in. They can't get really excited and topple out. Eventually we're gonna hit the sidewalks and the streets. We're going to leave the courtyard and the beautiful walking trails and the boardwalk. We don't want them getting lost in a crowd. Relaxed Yoshi likes the pet gear. And extroverted Kiku loves the petik. She jumps right in the petik. He jumps right in the pet gear. She doesn't think she needs the brakes. She's that kind of wild poodle. That was our experience with the two strollers. I'm going to sell one and I really haven't decided which one to sell. The brakes are a huge deal breaker, but I love the window, the open window in the front so much. The pet gear has been so invaluable in terms of getting Yoshi out of the house and integrating him with the outside world, making the outside world feel safe and accessible. It really started him on his journey out of the scared, reclusive state he was as an eight and a half month shut-in. He really, he'd never been outside in his life. I couldn't believe it. I actually didn't believe it and I took him out and he was hyperventilating. He had a panic attack. He fell. He was like paralyzed. I was in such shock. So we really had to, had to be very kind and loving and and judicious about the way we brought him outside so that he wasn't further traumatized and it was a beautiful experience for him. We had the pet gear stroller inside first and he grew to love it there, see it as a bit of a home, see it as a cave, a hermit cave and a shelter and a retreat. Then it was on the patio, then it went a little further down the cobblestone, then it went a little further into the courtyard and then with treats, I'd pull, lure him out and we'd walk a little bit around it. And then when he felt a little bit overwhelmed, he'd jump right back into the pet gear. So he'd be jumping in and out and it was a safe place for him. And that's why the brakes are so important because if the brakes are as flimsy as the petiques, when the slightest push pops that, that weak metal bar up again, when he jumps into the petite, it rolls and that becomes a scary experience for him. And it's not a place of safety and stability. It's a play, it's um, something again that behaves unpredictably. And he really needs a uh, very safe sheltered space. That's what he needs a stroller to be. And that's what this stroller has been. It's been just a fantastic way to introduce him to the outside world. And he loves it and I love it. I think it's adorable. So that's that. I really can't think of anything else to say. And I'm just going to conclude with some of the walks just around the courtyard that I've taken with both. And you can just kind of see how they look. 